Joe Gambino on, and he is with Hometown Health Services of Schenectady, but Center, Center. Did I say services? I meant okay. Center. We really know. did. I meant Center. We know what you okay. meant. <laughs> of Schenectady, but actually, uh, they have just opened up a new um, place in uh, Amsterdam. That's correct. Yeah. And we're very pleased to hear about that because what you've done is incredible uh, to to open this up to the underinsert underserved. Is That's that correct? correct? That's correct. Well. We, we did. We opened a, uh, a new practice at 67 Division Street in Amsterdam. For, for those folks who are familiar with Amsterdam, it's very close to the mall. It's probably mm -hmm. about, you know, it's probably about a half a mile, quarter of a mile, between a quarter and a half a mile from the mall as you're going west. Uh, and we're by the garden apartments, by the senior uh, living center. Makes it so easy. Hand, it's hand very convenient. Yeah. It's very convenient for people to walk. And it's a primary care office. So uh, people who are looking for a physical, people who are looking for um, immunizations for their children, or if they are um, uh, just have some episodic uh, thing in their life, maybe they fell down and hurt their knee or... Uh, as who knows, long as maybe, it's not major. They're, 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 exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly. If you've got a bone we, protruding, probably you don't want to go see him. <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't want to see us. No compound just, fractures, correct, please. Correct. <laughs> we're just going to send you to, the, uh, to the emergency room. But yes, we are very much a primary care office. There are 10 exam rooms, mid-levels, physician, uh, wonderful, welcoming uh, uh, registration staff and support staff as well. And we, of course, in, in Amsterdam, we're all uh, we uh, Spanish-speaking staff as well because say, we have you're very large uh, Spanish pop uh, Spanish. Now I've population been in in your facility in uh, Schenectady because yes. I kind of wanted to see what yeah, it was all about. Sure. I find that it looks very professional oh, and you. it looks. I mean, you've done a really good job. Thank you. We work hard on that. And you yeah. work hard at helping people to get through the process of health insurance and yeah. many of those yeah. things. Yeah. Will this continue at your Amsterdam office? Oh, no doubt. We Everything that um, people ha have enjoyed in Schenectady for decades now because... You've hometown been around a long time. Hometown Health has been in existence for, I want to say, 43 years now. It's been a long... Before me. <laughs> you were a baby. You were I was a baby, baby there. I was a baby at the time. Um, uh, it's been a long time, but what we did is we mirrored all of those services and we put them in, in Amsterdam. So if someone is having difficulty getting health insurance, we can help you. Uh, we can educate you about yeah, the process. I saw the and, table sure. there. They, so. they were really working very hard, very yeah. polite and, yeah. and helpful. Yeah, they are. Uh, and, you know, the thing about hometown is people come to us because we want to make sure that they have access to health care. Mm -hmm. But when someone comes to us, they may need more than health care. Uh, perhaps someone has come comes into our uh, um, uh, to see our doctor, and they're in the exam room. It could be for something as minor as pink eye, but then the doctor and nurse are with them, and they realize they haven't eaten in three days. Yeah. So what do we do with them then? So we have navigators on staff, case managers on staff. And of course, so, if there's domestic violence, it, it's reportable. I mean, you I, have to no really question, you have to no be question. aware of that. We link them to services in the community. Yeah. And uh, so this will continue. And I like the idea that you have your bilingual in, oh, yeah. because so there is a high Hispanic population. No doubt. No and doubt. certainly they're in need of, of many of the services that you have there. You know, we, we identified a long time ago that the city of Amsterdam has a, a large Medicaid population, but it also has a very large medically underserved population. So we thought we could not only go in there and help those individuals who who don't have necessarily have greater access to health care, but we could work with the hospital as well to make sure that they get into uh, into the hospital for uh, to see a specialist or an inpatient, whatever is needed. Um, again, because it's important to make sure that people vulnerable populations have access to, and to one, these primary health care services. And one of the with the vulnerable population is that if they don't know about you, they'll end up going to the ER room, which increases the cost oh, of of no health care. No phenomenally yes. I mean you can't go into an ER room for less than a thousand dollars and somebody's expensive. got to either pay for that or if they write it off it means that everybody else in the system is going to have to pick up yeah. that charge Uncompensated so what, they, care you is have tough. a great service well that's the idea we we like to think that we are supportive of the hospitals because if people come to us for regular primary care regular routine and preventative services more than likely they won't have to go to the ER for that episodic visit right. because they're going to be healthy mm -hmm. or healthier, I should say. So yes. You nip it in the bud, sort of. Correct. Yeah. We, want to, we, we feel that we save the system money just by being Absolutely. in existence. Absolutely. Absolutely. Do you have a call in? I mean, can somebody call in and ask for advice or anything? No. They well, have to come in and see you. Well, if they need counseling, they can probably call you, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> they could Give sit, me a call. They could sit here on Schenectady today and talk about all their problems. <laughs> I want, by the way. Thank I, you very much. <laughs> by the way, I want you to know it's not easy to, uh, to sit here with you and follow the Elvis Oh, I know. Well, fantastic. I figured you were going to get up and do a little something here. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done Suspicious Minds. But it's, it, was very, it was very entertaining, I Yeah, it say. was great. Well, that's what we do here. We try and keep people entertained yeah. and informed. And that's exactly what we're doing with Joe Gambino. Yeah. He's the CEO of Hometown Health <laughs> Centers of Schenectady. But they're in Amsterdam as well. Yeah. They're over on Division Street. We're on 67 Division Street. And if I may, sure. we're, uh, we're very excited because this September, if all goes well, let's cross our fingers. We will be opening a health center in Schenectady High School, and we will also be opening a health center in Mont Pleasant Middle School. Get out! Uh, no, we we were fortunate to get some funding that from. That is from wonderful. The, yeah, yeah, so we've been working. You heard on this, it here. Yeah, we're breaking news on Schenectady today. Yeah. The um, we're real excited because it, we we sort of see it as a a consistent level of care because if we can provide um, services to children in school we have a better chance of keeping them healthier and getting those services that they perhaps wouldn't get if we weren't making it so convenient uh, for them to have that. I am that. in so it's awe. A, I yeah. am in awe of you. Yeah, we're oh my <laughs> gosh, I really am. Well, let me just say there's a lot of people that Oh, that, yeah, that you are, had a couple this other people just, help. There's a few Whoops. people that are helping. That helped but it's you. a uh, it really is very exciting for us and 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 I want to thank the uh, Schenectady School District for yeah, Larry you know, being Spring so supportive. Yeah, Larry's very responsive. They've been, they've been very helpful. Yeah, good. Are we out of time? Are you, you you have me on the on the stopwatch there? <laughs> I got him on stopwatch here. We're going down here. to the second. We're going down to the second. <laughs> Actually, I just caught it on my foot and it went flying. So, but I did pick it up. Okay. So anyway, I do it very surreptitiously. You know, I, I you, wasn't didn't watch. You, you you do it well because they they say when you're doing something live, you know, you should act as if nothing happened you know like if this pencil falls on the ground yeah, you just pick just, it up and continue because that's, that's what, what, what happens home, in, right? that's what happens in real life, <laughs> real life. Exactly. joe gambino we hope that he'll come on again and, and let us know what he's been doing at the uh, school district for the school district i am really in awe of this and i know that he's working on a lot of other uh, fronts and we hope that everything comes together the way you want it to M one more last plug sure go ahead hometownhealthcenters.org and make sure you put the s on the end hometownhealthcenters.org and if anyone needs a um, an appointment to see a physician or a mid-level uh, you can uh, call us directly 518-370-1441 great don't call me <laughs> <laughs> we can pro we have counseling and therapy and everything, so we, can, we have that handled as well great. and thank you Joe, so much it's been a pleasure yeah. to meet yeah. you and, and chat nice. with you yes. and hope everything works out for you on your other fronts that you're working on as thank well you.